That was a nice catch by Kate. It was down below the left side of her calf, outside of her leg. She had a catch with one hand. Now you get a knock away by Scoggin. And it goes in the hands of Kane. Huskers have scored five straight. They trail by one. Hyvie goes coast to coast and gives Nebraska the lead. Now holding the ball and the slow dribble as Tierney Coleman works out at the top of the key. Takes Scoggin off the dribble. Block! Key Key blocked it into the hands of Hybe. Huskers have it with 13 seconds to go. What was so great about that is Trinity Brady had an open three but didn't have her feet under her, so she passed it up, ran offense, got it back, and buried it. Here is a block by Izzy Board. Kate Kane was back there also. Coleman brings the ball ahead, explodes down the right lane line. Block! Kate Kane blocked it! Gets away from Kenzie Helms. Here goes ORU in the blue uniforms with 23 seconds to go in the third quarter. Kate Kane gets a shot, but she was out of bounds with the ball. Out top, ORU has the ball. Jim Summers trying to get away from Kenzie Helms down the right lane line. Block! Kate Kane blocked it out of bounds! They Jim- did. Jim Summers works on the right wing. Here's a deflection of steal. Ruby Porter took it away. Going one on three. Ruby drives down the lane. That's deflected, but put back up, and Kenzie Helms gets the deflection and scores. 84-57, Nebraska. Here's a steal. Whitney Brown has a steal. Two on one. Bounces. Delivers. The layup is good for Ruby Porter. Skims the rim. Kate having bad luck with that rim. Yeah, and she's shooting the ball well, too. Good stop by Trinity, though, and she's going to get a layup. Yep, took it away from Garnett, and Trinity Brady gives Nebraska the lead. She's got a career-high four steals in this game. Jeff Reese Golish throws it in, gets it to Garnett, blocked by Cravens, who blocks the shot. Always dreamed of being a Husker. Just hit the first three-pointer of her career. Tipped away there by Kate King. Her older sister played in a state high school championship game here, scored 36 on this floor. Now we'll see how Illinois responds. Hybe with the steal, and Sam Hybe, who's been the bright spot for Nebraska, now with 19. Ephraim looks inside, here's Ruben with it, working on Kane, Kane with another block. And he'll stay with the Illini. And herself on Kane, and then she tries to go baseline and just muscle up, but it's the shot blocking ability, the long arm, of the law of Kate Kane <laughs> to stop that one. But Illinois with another opportunity here. You, we saw earlier in the game, Ru- game, Ruben was successful taking it at Kane. SEC teams that they felt just short. The good news for them is that they can kind of pinpoint very specific areas where Indiana needs to improve. Born with the kick out back to Hybe for three. Ivy has been struggling offensively today. She's one for nine right now. Born with the finish. Okay, so wishing Kim Barzarico and her program well. But that's what Bourne wants to do. There's a little bit of a mismatch there. Harden only 5'9", and Bourne's able at 6'2 to get her down into the paint. And she's going to have another size advantage on that fast break. <laughs> What's on the docket? Well, it's, it's certainly worked for her. She's having a career high year for her and Purdue. Scoggin with the takeaway, who's had herself a really good game for Nebraska. She feeds Hybe on the break for two. They're right, just like that. There are three <laughs> sets of hands around the basketball. Burton takes it on, but the block by Bourne. Bourne. Burton so aggressive and so good at that swooping left-handed shot. And Bourne does a nice job of keeping her body away and swatting it away. That's it. Here is Burton. Drive by Wood. And that will stay with the Wildcats. Initial ball screen leads to... The a pretty good click from the floor. They're around 50%. Here's Hamilton with it. Drive. Kate Kane disrupts. Well, if you beat the pressure, you feel like, oh, yeah, I can get a layup. But somebody's back there who can defend really well. Garante's lost the ball. Kate Kane has it. Here goes Nebraska. Sam Hybe, one on three. Here's Hybe after Johnson was knocked down for three off the left side of the rim. No, rebound Haley. Hillman last year as Hybe just picks Dilk's pocket in the backcourt. Over to Nolan, five to shoot. Straight on for Johnson. A long three off the heel. No. Rebound. Hillman got it in the corner. And then Hybe with a great play and a steal. Sam Hybe took away a pass outside and lays it. Under five in the third. Crooms crossover. Fakes it all the way left, but her shot gets blocked. 
by Cravens with .2 on the clock. It's in Osmond's hands right now. She pulls a three that gets blocked. Smith grabs the offensive rebound that gets blocked again. Kane got her. And Michigan State grabs the rebound. They have the opportunity to tie here. No timeouts left for the Spartans. Winston fakes and pulls the three. Oh. Gets partially blocked. Partially blocked by Kane. And Brown gets fouled. How about that from Kane? And Nebraska history comes up with the biggest one of the game on Winston. Absolutely. Juhas looking for her shot. She drives her. That's blocked by Craven. Nebraska. Nice job against these Ohio State shooters. Three out of the way. It's Scott. Handled Ohio State's press. Pella Cravens with the block in transition. It's all about converting that defense, making it into good offense. Scoggin gets the three, shooting it with confidence. Look into Mershon, skip pass. Scalia drives by Ooh. and Kane mm -hmm. with another block right into the hands of Scoggin. But the last two possessions in a row, they went in to challenge Kate Kane and she swatted away both of them. Now, welcome to Big Ten basketball when you've got a 6'5 center and a 6'3 power forward. There's Cravens again, who swats Miles away. Taken away by Hybe. Illinois turns it over on consecutive possessions. And a really smart play by Hybe to dribble the ball around and not take the easy bucket. On offense and on defense, Hybe getting in the passing lane, making the heads up play. Smart decision here. Run out the clock. You want to win the game. Kalen, no signs of, sh of slowing down for Nebraska whatsoever. Not right now. And the way that Wisconsin is playing defense, there's not much that they can do. And offensively, Nebraska's defense is just stepping up. Like you saw right there, Bella Craven's getting in there and getting the block, um, which is fine because when you have a lead like this, 22 points, and you're just, you just keep on, on winning battles in the paint, getting steals, turnovers, and great passes, great ball movement right there. Soft pass to Marisa, blow by against Scoggin, shot blocked from behind by Kane, school's all-time leader in blocks, now 327. Hagen's down the left side, pulls it back. Camden straight away, ball overhead, a bounce pass to Cash going one-on-one -on -one against Kane. Lefty shot, blocked by Kane. That's her third block of the game. Camden has it, jabbing with her right foot. Now finds Cash. It's deflected and poked away by Kane. Cash recovers, slashing in slide. Another block. We'll be there for they took I didn't know, I didn't know if they were going to give her. Right, I, yeah, that's why I was kind of gun-shy, too, on the call. I didn't know if they were just going to consider it. Hard to keep up with a team like Iowa if you're going to get into a track meet. Ball tipped away, and Hybe takes it away. Tracking from behind, Hybe able to get through before Warnock. Iowa with the basketball, third quarter underway. Caitlin Clark, 18 first half points, but her pocket picked by Sam Hybe. And Hybe to the other end for the easy two. Huskers like that start, a little defense turns into offense. Deals are all about anticipation. Sam Hybe anticipates the ball, gets the hand in the passing lane just to get a little tip that gives her the jump start to finish it on the other end. Lizzie Bourne trying to go down the baseline. That's six straight misses for the Huskers. Mimi Collins the rebound. Not only did they get her about 10, then they come right over COVID test and get cleared to play basketball in this ball game. They just need more of that from Sam Hybe with the steal. Good anticipation and Hybe to the other end. It was all Maryland in the first half, but Sam Hybe and the Huskers trying to make a second half run as Hybe's run to the rim brings the Big Red within 12 at home. And I'd love to know what that halftime speech from Nebraska head coach Amy Williams was because the Huskers picking it up on the defensive end. The ball movement inside and the tip goes and Kate Kane with the block. The tip into the hands of Faith Masonis, but Kane with the rejection. Bourne passes out of the double. Stolen. Woods pass deflected. She had Burton streaking down the court. Instead, it's Bourne. The high off the glass and in. Burton. 15 on the shot clock, drives left, contact, nothing, a block. Bourne, here comes the press, and she's fouled. Izzy Bourne who nails the three-pointer, and Penn State trying to answer back. We're all tied up at 21 as the ball stolen away from Hybe. Hybe, quick pass up to Scoggin. Scoggin against Beverly, gets the layup to go, and Nebraska takes the lead. Three of three, two threes, already eight points. Really lifting this Nebraska team. Inside to Cash, stolen away. Scoggin with it on the other end. Will stop, take again, pass it back out to Stewart. Stewart again gets it to fall. 
Four minutes and 42 seconds left to play here in the third quarter. Been a very good game on both ends. Penn State trying to get something as Izzy Bourne blocks out of bounds. Season long with that ankle. I mean, that was a mean block there. Warnock top of the key. Couldn't find Warnock back door as Martin passed the defense, but Kane with the rejection. Sconyers double team. Has to pass it over to Grace Cumming, who is back in the game and played really well their last outing. Instead, it's a turnover and Hybe all the way over Minnesota. Good offense starts on the defensive side of the ball. The double comes, then Bella Cravens is able to get a tip, which was. Nebraska winning this second quarter, 20 to eight. Expanding on their five point lead they had after one. And in the lane, it's good for Hybe. That's what you don't want if you're Nebraska. 13 forced turnovers, but then they get rid of a turnover thanks to the play from Bella Cravens. Hybe at the free throw line, pure. One play, it was all Sam Hybe. Watch her on defense, come away, force a steal, get the ball, take it all herself. She's in double-digit scoring, she's got 10 points, but it's not just that, Megan, she's got seven rebounds.